Okay, and then we only need to hook everything up. So let's fill the tanks from the back. Oh. So you are natural gas liquids and you are acid gas. Same over here. You are natural gas liquids. And you are acid gas. Now, what's the ratio? Most of it is... It's a... 1 to 4. I have 12. So, 3 tanks. Each metal tank will be an acid tank. Each outer tank will be a... No, wait. It's 1 to 4, so... Hey, wait, wait. So, 1. These. 1. These and then one one. So we have two acid tanks and two natural gas liquids. That sounds better. So let's make this one an acid tank. And let's make you an acid tank. And the rest will be normal tanks. Oh, not like this. So here, here, here. Uh, you go there, you go there. And these will all be interlocked from the behind. There we go. Other side, this goes, this goes, this goes. Uh, you need to be connected. That should be it. And now we have to place the stations. That should be fine. And let's see. Place the pumps on this side. I will have the easiest access. We could also place a few pumps on this side and a few pumps on this side. It doesn't have to be symmetrical like this. So, I only have one pump. Then let's place. Ah, oh. yeah, let's go ham with it. I'll manage. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, uh, you're going to be gas. You're going to be gas. Maybe if we do sulfuric acid first. Ooh, I see a problem. This could actually work out really great. Remove this for now. Because acid gas. Acid gas will not be a high priority. Oh. I should place these by robots. Uh, but each of these will have to be uniquely connected somehow. Or. We could try and. Yeah, that's. I've got a good idea. Let's try the easier way out. Yeah, there's a pump over here. Ah, perfect. So... We could just do it like this. And then go down the middle.
almost. Connected. And then we go. No, this goes under, this goes up, this goes here. Place, place, place. And then we would need to connect you up somehow. Go under. Okay. And now comes probably the good trick. I will need... I know we'll need some resources for this. So I'm thinking about a tip I got a couple days ago. It was probably yesterday. We're gonna place some inline tanks in front of these. And these inline tanks will basically be uh, just a buffer. They can be filled up slowly. Uh, but they unload fast into the train. Uh, but we do need some resources for that. And the reason we do this is because pipes can be absolutely terrible in Factorio. As the throughput to your pipe is rather limited. But if you put tanks in here and you pump out of the tank directly, uh, you can speed up the process tremendously. We're not going to do this for the uh, uh, for the acid gas. I don't value acid gas as much. And it holds twenty thousand, so. We could fill a train of up to 120,000 and let's quick check this fluid the biggest fluid wagon holds up to 25,000 so that's 50,000 so that should work also Oh, these are probably not connected yet. No, not correctly connected yet. Uh, and I haven't said where you should bring me. Bring me over to the brickery. I will find out where the brickery is while you're driving. It's over here. I think it was here. Perfect. Uh, stay here. Ooh. So let's make some inline tanks. Um, bricks are required. I can make two. Iron is required. Yep, there's some pipe in there. I can make another 16. So, good sir, drive me back. So 
so this facility is not working. Silicon is working like a charm. Yeah, this is great. But why are you not correctly working? You're making alumina. You're sitting on hydrogen. You try to pump the stuff out. Oh, the hydrogen is choking you. I'm not doing anything with the hydrogen. That's a problem. Uh, wait here, please. So, inline tanks. It will look like this. And these tanks we can just slowly fill at the speed of our leisure. And once these fill up and the train comes along, we just push it in. Now, as long as this isn't being done yet, we could do the same for these gases on the other side. So let's pull you out. And I need at least one, two, three more space. And then we turn these around. Make another six of these. Uh, so it's one, two. Uh, I need to push you out by even one more. Sorry about that. So this is correctly aligned. So we need one, two space for the tank, one for the pipe, and one to not connect to these tanks. Then we place these tanks. Let's place them the same way around as here. Then you go here, you go there. And this just go all the way up. And this should all still be correct. This up. This is not too long, which is a bit sad. This is also too long, which is a bit sad. So deep storage will be over here, and active storage will be over here. And then and you long, and this is all connected. Perfect. Then we only need to add some power poles over here. Add some lamps to it. And fix up all of this. Now the thing is, we're not going to connect the tanks to the LTN system, these tanks. Um, the system will not know that these exist. Because they are just the active buffer chest. However, these deep tanks um, are going to be connected. Now, question. We have enough space to implement it over here, so let's do it. But gas condensates and 
All the other gases I don't really care about. So this will be one. And then you hook everything up like a madman. And these will take a while to hook up, but in between train deliveries, these will then pump it. So these are basically only buffers. And unless trains come racking in at such a high pace that these buffers are always empty, then we can still fall back to the old plan. So a train has been scheduled. But this one's almost full. This one's almost full. Just want to see how fast the train uh, takes to load and unload. Also, it could be that we now can make use of the maximum pumping speed. And I'm very curious to see that. Um, but where the fuck is this train? It's probably... Yeah. It's all the way over here. Yeah, look at this. This is why we need to segment our track. He's sitting over here. So he has to drive all the way through here. Probably goes up all the way through here. Then he goes all the way over here, then he goes up, and then at some point, sooner or later, he will come over here, and only then he will be uh, moved around. So, this will take a while. Then, these are all connected, which is nice. Um, gases. There are gases over here. If we move this over by one, we can just make it. There are gases over here. There should be natural gases over here. You can just hook up. You can just hook up. This can be interlocked. Hook up. Hook up, hook up, hook up. And now we're refining gas. Look at this. How's power doing? Fine. Power's doing fine. And this train is still in traffic. Oh, is that the train? No, that's the liquid train. Yeah, that's wrong. Oh, all of this is wrong. All right, here comes the oil train. And... <laughs> pumping speed 5120 or 4800 good job pump but yeah that's the system now this will slowly recharge as a buffer uh, but until the next train comes that will then be uh, charged up complete so this needs to be connected this, this. there we go
Look at this. We're doing it. Look at me, Ma. I'm doing it. And these are not interconnected yet. Now they are. So yeah, I really like the system. I should remember that. Uh, maybe you can also be using it in Vanilla Victoria. Are small inline tanks a thing already in Vanilla Victoria? This would be so nice. Then again, these almost have the same capacity as a normal tank at Victoria. <laughs> um, speaking of Victoria, um, let's finish up this section so uh you this uh yeah i know we're going to do it you're going all the way down and then you hook up a few oh these are in the middle Yeah, we have a congestion problem. Uh, we'll just flip the cable colors. I don't like doing this, but... It solves the problem. So you will be green cable. Uh, that's also... This is more or less the middle. Let's hook you up, hook you up, you go to there, and then we're going up north, over here, there, and there. So now you know this is 24,000 already, and this is 104,000 already. Yeah, I think that comes to the next train. That's a big one. And zoop. Filled up to the max. And you can go. And the tank still holds half capacity. So this also saves a lot of pipe troubles. For example, as we had over. Oh, yes, simply over here. <laughs> but still, this is also a very efficient setup. There he goes, goes in, and... <laughs> Empty. Now, let's set up these LTNs. Uh, you are... You are incorrect. You need to be here. Hook you up, hook you up. The pumps are the right way around. Um, we need to connect these. Um, you need to be connected with red. Then you also need a combinator here and a combinator there. Let's copy over some settings. Paste, paste. And let's also hook these up. So, you are a provider, so negate the train and read from the LTN. Same over here, negate the train and read from the LTN. Hook you up. Provide batches of 50,000. Nothing less, nothing more. And you pump out natural gas liquids. Uh, where is it? Copy, paste, 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 paste. And you pump out acid gas. Yeah, larger than zero. Copy, paste, 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 paste. 
done next part of the refinery is done so this raw gas over here will now get processed over here maybe we will want to add another wing over here because these guys also make raw gas and there are a few things that are kind of curious for one you have didn't have a delivery yet which could be because the train can't find a path which probably also is the reason why i have this backlog no did that just not hook you up that also sometimes happened no you're hooked up natural gas um i may be not ordering up natural gas i think i am oh no i'm not this one's not hooked up uh that's so far to walk drive me over here oh that's such a long drive oh thanks Aiden Lake once I stop this train I'll take a look at it Acid gas, acid gas. Between the stations, you meant to place a T junction. Oh, this is correct. What is it over here? North. Where? Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> Got it. Thank you. Wouldn't have seen that one. Uh, yeah, now they're connected. <laughs> will probably have bugged me like 10 days from now this is a connection that's missing so now we're ordering up gas and let's check the gas refinery over here uh, you are not set up at all so let's also do that uh, just drive me here that should be fine So this will now be built at some point. Okay, um, these are all requesters. So place them here, here, there, and here. Ah, there's nothing set up over here. Did I set this all up correctly? Yes. But this is a good layout. So let's begin with the outside. Hook you up. Go to here. You are gas condensates. Uh, let's take this route. There we go. Then hook these up. These is... I have no clue what this is. Let's just connect it. Then go over. Uh, 
Then residual gas. And then these magnificent boys. Very good. Connect you up. Oh. Uh, connect you. Oh. Yes, this is connected. Connect you up. Connect you up. These are now all connected. Whew. So, you request no bullshit. Natural gas liquids. Uh, you have four of these tanks, so 1.4 million. Residual gas. Requester, no bullshit. Uh, A and goo, no. Residual gas, 700,000. We'll also order it up in at least batches of 50,000. We're not taking anything less. Uh, this is synthesis gas. And there it is. Order up 700,000. And this is residual gas. No gas condensates, sorry. 700. Thousands. Good. Now this is also set up. And we are full on NAFTA. Should be fine. Um, so the refinery is set up for now. At some point, I have to find out what's going on over here. There's a huge traffic congestion going on. Um, however, I want to do oil. Yeah, not oil, gold and silver. So let's go here. And uh, what the hell is going on over here? Is this a deadlock? Trains want to go here, trains want to go here. You want to go down, you want to go down. You want to go over. I think this is actually, they managed. No, they are going. But stuff doesn't seem to be working well. Well, that should be fine. Once you start segregating the network, uh, the problems probably will be gone. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, maybe place you here, and this will be the station. And then one, two, three, four. There we go. More than enough space to make a grand facility. Let's copy over a input first. Input of gold ore and uh all the other requirements 
now this time i want to make a balanced no bullshit factory so no more piping out of the side so we are going to pipe out of the front and then just balance it and then mix it around nevertheless gold yeah we're starting with gold i just decided uh this is your normal ratio yes then we make cyanide out of it we need six gold pellets every four seconds you're making four every two so an eight in four seconds we have eight. Ah, oh, this is a shit ratio um so it's a come on brain think We can't feed another third, so it's a 3 to 4 ratio. That's going to be huge! So, first of all, place one of this here. I'm just going to copy stuff over. It's chemical furnaces, isn't it? yeah so it's three of these to four of these however these are a ratio of three to two so well if we go three here and three there um wait <laughs> three to four oh that's super shit i would have to place now these come in batches of two, so I can set one over here and one over here, and I have four. Uh, I could set a batch up in the middle, then I would have six. But then I would have trouble getting the rest of the stuff out. Maybe. I could also go big. and let's keep that one for now also ah. oh that's also power plant is connected that's that's really terrible i have to fix up asap or else we have another brownout Ah, that's correct. Oop. So three of these feed four of these. We could also ah, that's shit. I want to direct feed. Ah, let's just pick these up real quick. So it's the usual ratio is this and this. And yeah, one of these, these feeds this one, one of these feeds this a bit, you feed this one, and you feed this a bit, and then we would have two not enough. And we're missing two pallets per second. And if I have another one of these, this will make the required missing pallets. However, this won't fly. So you need to connect to at least two of these. And we could do it like this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait. Then you over here. You over here. Then... No, that won't work. Let's 
So now we have a 2 to 3 ratio. But then we need a another one. In the middle of some oh, ah. We could also give it a wide berth. Just process it. That's probably what we're going to do. We're going to do it a bit different this time. So it's going to be three to four. Then we're just going to put six over here, six over here. Make a whole bunch of gold over here. Uh, and just put these on the belt. And zipper that belt up together with the sodium. And then we only have one belt which goes in into the smelteries. Uh, this then produces also a double output which is super annoying. But one of these outputs can go directly into the chemical furnace. And this then can... Okay, let's, let's begin with making belt stuff. So... This is the normal ratio. And then we need multiples of these. Then let's see if we can balance your output. Uh, put it in a splitter. And then we go out. So we won't have a balance issue anymore. And then we place these. So one, two, three. And I place them directly over here. One, two, three. All making gold pallets. Then we are making... One, two, three, four, five, six. So every two seconds... Uh, we're making 24. So that's 12 per second. Crafting speed of the highest tier. Um... Where are they? Uh, would be crafting speed 3, so let's calculate with crafting speed 3. Okay, there is something seriously wrong with this congestion. It just seems to be moving. And it's probably a train which has the wrong kind of load in it. And who's just blocking up... Yeah, oh wait, what the fuck are you doing here? Well, I'll look at it later. So, 12 per second, crafting to 36 per second. That's one blue belt. 75, 36, 36, 72. It's, if we zipper it together with the cyanides, we need less cyanides. No, oh, actually, it's, it could be fine. So, 36 and another 18. Uh, no, wait, wait, 36 and another 24 is 60 items per second and 60 items per second is one turbo belt however that would mean uh we have a mixed bag and i want to use halves but then again a turbo belt no what is this a ultimate belt will um, solve the problem so we're going to use blue belt for now so this will then zip zoom it down. Then after we zip zoom it down, this will also need to be balanced. Uh, 
How about we balance it like one over here and one over here? So it would be you go into there, you go into there, you go into there, and you go into there. And then make a simple crossover like this. Much cleaner. And then you go into there. You go into there. And then you go out. Then the blue belt will come. Ah, we... Yeah. Same over here. Ooh, look at the time. Time to take a quick break. Uh, quick break. See you around.